Namaste, Vanakam, and welcome to Dharma Moments, your Hindu magazine program on SABC2. This morning we learn more about the International Society for Krishna Consciousness's Food for Life project in Cape Town, and later we answer an interesting question posed to us by a viewer. In Hindu culture, food is considered to be more than that which is consumed for nutritional purposes. It is regarded as prasadam, that is food infused with the energy of the divine, and as such it becomes the mercy of God. In cities across the globe, wherever there is an ISKCON temple, there is a Food for Life project in place. The purpose of this project is to spread divine mercy in the form of food to everyone in need living within a 20km radius of the temple. The distribution of prasadam is accompanied by the singing of humble praises to Lord Krishna, a practice in line with the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita which states, Whatever you do, make it an offering to me. The food you eat, the sacrifices you make, even the help you give. It was a typically cold and wet winter's morning in Cape Town when the Dharma Moments team joined the devotees from the International Society for Krishna Consciousness on their feeding program called Food for Life. What we are doing actually is seva means service to God. The Lord wants us to, to serve each other and to encourage each other towards service because we are naturally servant of God. So when we practice that consciousness of being servants of God, then we are becoming prepared to re-enter into the spiritual world. So seva is that practice of being a servant, um, practice of expressing love and humility and, and compassion and care. Um, so that practice ultimately fructifies in, in, in love of God and in this way the mission of life is accomplished because that's how samsara or the cycle of reincarnation ends. While the main purpose of ISKCON's visit to Inyanga is to distribute food, members of the organization also ensure that they interact with the residents, thereby creating a bond that promotes mutual respect and love. Which was one of the aims of the founder of the organization, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada's legacy is the legacy of love and compassion and care for each and every individual, every living being. This is a genuine uh, compassion that is exhibited in a mood of love of God. When we love God, we know how to love all living beings because everyone is part and parcel of God. And some of us have to take the responsibility to lead with love and compassion so that we could influence the rest of society to also live with love and compassion. At the moment, we have so much hatred and negativity as we know in the world. It is all about leadership. If every one of us takes that responsibility of living with care, love, compassion, integrity, the society will change. So this is Srila Prabhupada's mission was transformation of society, transformation of consciousness, building interconnections with other communities, um, non-sectarianism. We respect people from all cultures and backgrounds, Muslims, Christians, Jewish, um, Buddhists, it doesn't matter what kind of background they have, we respect everyone because the soul is within the heart of each and every person. With this in mind, devotees who volunteer their services to the Food for Life program arrive early in the morning to begin preparing the food which will later be distributed amongst the poor and needy. It's very fulfilling to be able to partake in um, the preparation that we're doing uh, to go out and serve everybody because these are the things that we take for granted um, in our daily lives and it's just good to see that everybody else will also be able to benefit from this and you know be pleased with the food that we have to offer them. Uh, I see this as, uh, as, as one of the extensions of being a Hindu and also it gives me fulfillment to provide for, the, for, for others that do not really have food or, or something to eat. At the same time, the volunteers, in spite of the early start to the day, do not regard this as a sacrifice. Oh no, there's no sacrifice or anything. It's pure joy that you get within yourself. And knowing that today there will be children that are going to, be, to have food that won't go hungry. The ethos of giving is part of this organization and I think of 
any genuine bona fide spiritual movement. Giving is, is very important. God gives to us so that we can share that and um, it, it's an ongoing exchange. So giving is very important, definitely, and very much encouraged. Once the food is prepared, it is first blessed. In this way, the food becomes prasad, or God's mercy. Ordinarily, food is just nourishment for the body. However, the food that we have here is offered to God with devotion. And the food that is being offered to God with devotion becomes spiritualized. So when the people eat that kind of spiritualized food, they uh, make advancement, spiritual advancement, and their bodies and their consciousness become spiritualized as well. As the team of volunteers load their vehicle with the food, they are aware that their mission to Inyanga is much more than just feeding the hungry. Their mission is also about spreading God's love, thereby raising the spiritual consciousness of those whom they serve. We need to cater for the needs of people on all levels, physical, spiritual, emotional, social, intellectual. So Prabhupada was very much aware that if people are hungry and needy, it is very easy for them to enter into criminal activities. Therefore, Srila Prabhupada wanted to extend that compassion and try to offer that to people and also to show the way, to lead the way, to inspire other people from other communities to also take that responsibility. So, Food for Life in essence is about making people lovers of, lovers of God, lovers of each other, lovers of nature, lovers of all living beings.